Alright. Hello and welcome to the DRM Gamecast. My name is Mr. Black Magic. And I'm here with my good buddies DOA Head Randall Thor and our guest Selas today. Hi mom. Howdy, AKA howdy, howdy. AKA Yard Sales. AKA Samer. <laughs> oh, AKA Samer's Sam. way to piss Samer's off not supposed right to be away. known. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> we put huh. we put your business out On there. On the DRM Gamecast, we strive to piss off our guests immediately. <laughs> so they feel right at home the way early. when they join. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay. His gamer tag is Salas Dre, but we are going to call him Sam this entire time. So. Oh, that's, that's actually Salas Dre, and... but if you want to do Salas, that's okay also, I guess. You know, all I demanding pronounce, over there. I pronounce made up words however I feel like it. Uh, it's it's a, just a real word backwards. That's not made up. Whatever, Alucard. <laughs> Yard sales is not it's nearly It's two as cool. words. It's two words, first of all, that you changed to one word. Therefore, it's a made up fucking word. Uh, I'll call it C Lass D Ray. <laughs> this is awesome. Who do we get to shit on next week? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I all like right, this well. new podcast where we just give people all the shit on them. <laughs> yeah, your name is dumb. <laughs> I'm going to well, pronounce hey, we, it however I see it. We call him Sam, all right, so that's fine. Who Silva. cares what this gamer tag is? We call him Sam. Have your armor on, Silva. Well, we've all been playing Destiny. So, so what are you guys thinking about it? Shit, dick. <laughs> oh. See what you did, Red. <laughs> what did I do? He got that word into his head now, and now I'm gonna have to hear it like 50 times. What do you mean he got it? Word. I said that. <laughs> oh well, you got that word out of him. Right. We'll see. So, what's what? What are so you guys that's thinking? Destiny, eh? It's okay. <laughs> Way Better over-hyped. than I thought. Better than Way I thought. Way overhyped. I mean, it's I'd not say like it's, the be-all and end-all. It's definitely a little less. It's less than what I thought, but I still like it. I mean, I wasn't super hyped for it to begin with. I was excited about it, but I, I, after playing it more and more, I'm liking it more and more. I think it's it gets better with age, and once you get high level... <laughs> It gets better with once age. it gets about that like fifth fine day, line. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, once it becomes about the loot, it's that's when the game gets interesting to me. Sucks. <laughs> no, that's that's the part I live for on games is the loot. I was kind of liking it right up until I realized the loot was complete bullshit. Which it's not. <laughs> Which it is. That on no, top no. of the terrible story, the horror, horrible dialogue. Ugh. Come on, Rand, start quoting it, and we can irritate magic. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have time to quote. <laughs> so, so me, me, Rand, me, Rand, and DOA, me, Rand, and DOA played through like the whole story, and it was like I'm sitting there watching uh, what's that crap called? Mystery, Mystery Science, Science Theater. Well, the dialogue These dudes is so are just bad. like imitating every little thing they say. I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. Was that English? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? My the favorite. Dumbest though. shit. Is when they introduce the Vex and you beat them and they're like, Oh my god, the Vex are so evil, they hate all other evil. It's like, whoa, <laughs> They despise other evil. Huh? It's like, what are they, hipster evil? Like, we're, you know, like, <laughs> We're so evil, we're not evil. <laughs> it's, like, it's pretty bad. The story is And then they say... That this shit was supposed to be like Harry Potter's level. Well, they said they. I want to see the quote that says that. Go check. I mean, I can get you a link for it later. But yeah, one of the the writers said that like they wanted the uh, the the story to be up there with like Harry Potter and Star Wars and Lego. Oh wait, so they just wanted it to be there. He didn't say he actually. Well, they sure didn't get what they want. Well, because because, well, okay, I'm gonna give the guy (laughs) the benefit (laughs) of the doubt because it's nice to want things and all. But if they really thought well, yeah. this story <laughs> was like on the caliber of Lord of the Rings, I'm not not I saying that Star Wars has like an amazing biggest... story, but I'm sure <laughs> every Babylon. writer, I'm sure every writer wants their fucking story to be as good as Harry Potter, or remembered as Harry Potter. I'm sure every writer says that and thinks that. <laughs> uh, if he would have said our story will be remembered like Harry Potter's, then that's different. Problem with this game is this game, this game was. 
a victim of its hype. I think well, even yeah. more so than more so than Titanfall. Like Titanfall was hype, but Titanfall just promised a fast action campaign, multiplayer campaign. This promised like revolution. Like this is gonna bring a bring a gameplay revolution. You know, like you've never played a game like this before, and it's like, well, no, we kind of have. It's just an amalgamation of other genres. You don't do any one thing good. It's just a collection of ideals that you just kind of. And a couple just, of things bad. Yeah, it's just like you just kind of just. <laughs> Do things just okay, mediocre, you know. Well, see. I uh, mean, the the best thing I think about the game is the multiplayer. Like, I have the most fun playing the multiplayer. I agree, which is yeah. really for me. <laughs> I think that's the thing about a weak story is, for me, a story can be completely throwaway as long as the gameplay is there. Well, that's which... how I feel too. I've never been a stickler for like, oh my god, this game's a terrible story, so fuck this game. Like, if the gameplay's there, I could care less about the story. Yeah. Well, yeah, the gameplay is amazing. I don't... The gameplay ain't really there. Oh, no. well, the, the game mechanics like... are good, like shooting and, you know what I mean, the worlds look good, but, I mean, it's just like drop ghost, kill enemies. Drop ghost, kill enemies. All right, this is fucking boring. Well, okay. yeah, I mean, well that's like I said, game. but tell me... Yeah, I was going to say, that's every game. What do you do in Forza? What do you mean? I mean it's... Drive around a circle. Drive around a circle. <laughs> drive around a circle. Hey, DOA, what are you doing two weeks from now? Drive around a circle. Drive around a circle. I don't yeah, know. Today, I there's a mountain from a in the racing background. game. I mean, I don't know. This is. Oh, you don't so it's think, okay. Like Halo mixes game. it up more. No, Halo. You go over here. You shoot stuff. You go over here. You shoot stuff. It's just, it's here, just like a horde stuff. game, well, though. It's well, just drop off wait, the thing well, and defend on. the area one most second, of the time. One second, though. You may do similar things in other games, but I mean, if you're comparing it to Halo, Halo has an established. And you know who you're fighting. Like you fight in the Covenant. They're very okay, iconic. but that's a story issue. We're talking you, about you gameplay. Have... That's story. What do you do in Halo gameplay wise? You go into an area, you shoot everything. You go into the next area, you shoot. I don't everything. know. Yeah, I but the thing is, the, the Halo things the change. Is they they change it up so it doesn't become stale. Like what do they change? The enemies. That's it. The enemies in the environment. Same thing. This game changes. And the weapons and shit and stuff. What do you mean? Like, I don't remember weapons? Halo and it was, like first time you played Halo One and it was like, oh sweet, there's a tank. You know, it's like you, now you get a tank level, now you get a ghost level. I mean, it's like plus you had like these cool ass like escapes on the on the ghosts and shit to like escape. Well, I mean, there was, was like was cool mix mission. up of gameplay. That That's multiple end. missions though, like within the same game. Like you look at Halo One, it was like, oh sweet, now I got a tank mission. At the end, you got your big warthog escape. You know, I mean, they mix things up. This is just drop ghost defend, drop ghost defend. Okay, I mean, I agree with you, but at the same time, that's so. If they would have thrown in like one or two missions where you're on a vehicle, then you would have completely changed your mind. Well, yeah, give me a sparrow escape at the end, and that would have improved things immensely. I was gonna say, and then then all the sword was one of my favorite ones. Was getting that overpowered sword and just going crazy. Well, yeah, I I said the same thing. I had a lot of fun with that one. (laughs) I grabbed the sword when we were playing, so they didn't get to try it. No, I mean, I tried it. It was dumb. (laughs) Oh, did you? It no, does. no, no. Magic so ruined the gameplay experience for us. <laughs> it would have been a 9 out of 10, but he grabbed the sword. What a dick. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were slow. That's one of those no, would have been fun if they I put mean, it I, in multiplayer. I don't know, Magic. I agree with you. I think I think the actual like shooting mechanics and all oh, the stuff that. surrounding that is fucking great. Like, it, if, if, if it was bad, this game would be a piece of shit. Like, I, I really enjoy the combat. The problem is, Let's... like, with the story, if you're comparing it to... Like other games like Call of Duty, all you do in Call of Duty is just follow this linear path and like you just shoot people and stuff. But they which have those extravagant set set pieces on Call of Duty which are fun to be a part of. You know, I mean that's the whole point. It's like it's like an adrenaline like action movie, right? Like this game, I think the problem is, DOA mentioned it like the first day we're playing is like, who the fuck are we fighting? Who's the villain? Like what are their motives? Hello, well, yeah. For, for well, that see, instance, that's why what are your motives? The story, like, Halo the had story Master impacted. Chief, you know, the, the the bad story impacted other areas of the game because I agree with you that because the story kind of drives other things. Like like you said, you know, why should I be excited for this part? Why should I be like scared that this guy is like some big badass you know boss that I'm like you know who is this boss? That's yeah. all like affected by the story not being there. So it's like, it's kind of like, like what Sam said like a few weeks ago. Like pretty much, I mean, every game is repetitive. It's just a matter of fact of, do you like the game enough to get past that repetitiveness? You know, I think Assassin's Creed One is super repetitive. 
plenty of people don't. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously they like the game enough that for whatever reason they didn't see that repetitiveness. But for me, I didn't like it enough, so it just seemed super repetitive and I stopped playing it. Oh, I mean, that game is super repetitive. Well, yeah, well, I mean, go at uh, DOA. Do you think that game's repetitive? What, Assassin's Creed? Yeah. I mean, it probably was, but Assassin's Creed felt very different for its time. Like, if I played it now, I'd probably agree with you. But it had all these cool free-running mechanics and everything that I well, never... Well, really... see, that's what I mean. Yeah, remember, like, this is before like... Mirror's Edge and everything. So it, yeah. even though it was repetitive, it felt kind of fresh and different, so it didn't bother me as much. Well, exactly. I mean, yeah, that's if I played it saying. now, you, I'd probably be like, eh, it enough. not nearly as good. You liked it enough where the repetitiveness didn't bother you, you know... You overlooked well, it's that because it because brought of... something new to the table, though. It's kind of like the original Halo. I mean, it actually had problems, but at the time, especially in 2001, it felt so new and different. And, and, you know, you just didn't care that it was reusing same areas and levels. Well, that's and well, that's kind of what I mean. Like this game is repetitive. <coughs> you know, it definitely you just go somewhere, plant the ghost, and kill. But I, I mean, I like the game enough where that doesn't bother me and like piss me off. Yeah, you so. see, it was like already getting on my nerves that it was doing it, and then you just noticed it because like, oh, here we're gonna come. Like you spawn. You, like, get on your sparrow, you drive to the point, you kill some low-level enemies, you let Peter Dinklage out, he gives you some bullshit sci-fi <laughs> reasoning, and you, and you fight yeah, people, grumble, and it's over. Grumble. I mean, the re it's just, the story's not entertaining, so the the stuff, that, that stuff just rears its ugly head, and you just notice it more. Like, if the story was, like, awesome, and, like, you couldn't wait to get to the or next thing, decent. you probably, you probably <laughs> would forgive the fact of the mission structure. And how, See, that how stuff the doesn't story was presented. affect me much on it, though, because I think as long as the stuff you're doing, the repetitive stuff you're doing, if you enjoy it, like, I love the combat system, and I love the way it feels to punch someone or use your special. Like, it feels really good to do that. So I, I can just look past all the story flaws while I'm playing them well, and yeah, just I mean, not hell, pay attention to it. Well, yeah, I mean, hell, you like Diablo, and Diablo's story is a fucking piece of shit. Might be yeah. the only might be the only story that's worse than Destiny's is, is Diablo's. But everybody hey, they, knows they, they that got going cool into Diablo. Scenes, like, Diablo, everyone's like, hey, don't well, see, yeah, that, see. this for the that's, story. This that's is... definitely one thing that hurt this game, too, is the it was so hyped. People had their expectations, like, through the roof. You know, oh, this is Bungie, so it's going to have a great story. It's going to do this, going to do that. That didn't live up to those, which in any yeah. other game's case wouldn't be that big of a deal. But since this I mean, game was hyped. Bungie's was last game crazy. might have been their best storytelling game. Halo Reach probably was oh, the best that, Halo yeah. story. And they come back to this, and it's just like, like I said, they're lucky that the com like like the actual shooting people. Well, I don't know fun. if I call Otherwise, it lucky. No, because I mean... if it wasn't, then this game. I know this game's getting. Well, yeah, but they're good at the combat. Reviews. I mean, you already knew that from Halo, so I don't know if I'd say. It's well, lucky see, this you guys is... were already awesome at this, you know. Like... It. This is one of the things. Like marketing is a fucking powerful thing. Like this game was not meant like it was meant to not fail it was meant to see like you put that much marketing into it it's gonna have that hype it's you know it's gonna well, yeah didn't the they say value. half a million first day didn't i read that yeah, yeah. Or half a billion they, i mean but, not half a million with those wrong well half they also said day. though if you read the read what they actually said it was shipped to retailers not sold to consumers oh. so because the reviews either have been way pretty mixed i know they're not all out yet but the ones that are out I don't think reviews will affect the sales of this game. I really no, don't. But, I think people who wanted to buy it are going to buy it right away. What it's going to affect, though, is Destiny 2. Because people... I mean, there's a saying, fool me once, shame on me, or no, shame on you, right? Like, you might have been hyped for Destiny, and yeah. it's like, I, I, I bought into the hype, and I don't like it. And then Destiny 2 comes out, well, you know, that old saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Maybe some people, are when Destiny 2 comes out, they're just like, fuck it, I'm not falling for that shit again. You know? I know I'd be one of them. I just I can't think of any game though that's been had so much hype and lived up to it. I think a game having that much hype is set up to be a disappointment, no matter what. Well, I, mean, yeah, exactly. I really can't yeah. think of the last game with that much hype that met every expectation. Well, DOA would say Bioshock Infinite, but I'm not sure Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, but Bioshock and Infinite. Uh, I'm not Bioshock's sure Bioshock not some Bioshock huge triple A title. Not, like super hype. Yeah, I don't even think Bioshock Infinite had big hype. Plus, I don't think if it did, I don't think it lived up to it because, you know, play a second. Well, I mean, it's always and... personal opinion, but I mean, well, yeah. I mean, but judging oh, yeah. by the kind of semi-mixed reviews, and uh, I've heard a lot of people 
pretty much. In fact, I don't know if I've had anybody say it lived up to the hype. So. Oh no! Well, no, this game definitely didn't live up to the hype. You know, it, I'm not arguing that. It, it def, the fact that we're having this conversation says that it didn't live, yeah. live up to the hype. But my, my argument for that is, I just I don't see any game that ever has lived up to such huge hype. Any system seller kind of game, it's always a letdown in some way. True. Well, I think another. I mean. It's kind of like you said, jack of all trades, master none. I think that's half the problem is people want to compare this to something. You know, it's like, oh, let me compare this multiplayer to Call of Duty. Let me compare this loot system to Diablo. Let me compare these like social features to World of Warcraft. Where it's like, oh, but I'm they're the do ones. This. But they're the ones. I don't even play out. that many loot mini games, and I'm like, this loot sucks. They're, but they're the ones who came out, and they're the ones who were talking about it. It was just like, oh, we got this like socially connected, like yeah. But they never world said experience. MMO. They never no, said but MMO. when they talked about what they were aiming for, they were talking about World of Warcraft. When the loot system, they were talking about Borderlands, and and they they mentioned other games like they were that were kind of like. I'm just I saying guess. they never they never once called this game an MMO game. You know, maybe well, that was just MMO a has a. A, well, it's yeah. like kind of a dirty word for some people. But I'm just saying, you know, that's like <laughs> that's like people on the forums like, oh, yep, this is an MMO, so I'm going to compare it to World of Warcraft. It's like, well, that's, it's just, you know. It's, it's not an MMO it's in the true sense. It has the MMO grinding elements where it's like you got to grind your dailies. You got to grind your faction rep so you can buy stuff from there. You got to log in every day and do this. And it's like they put that stuff in the game. But like the true... Like MMO stuff is like not really here. I mean, Sam, you play World of Warcraft all the time. I mean, yeah. This... I mean, we've said this before. This is just a light MMO. I mean, it's it's got the basic components, but it's just not fleshed out enough. Uh, which I think they make up for in the shooter aspect, but I, they still get the loot system well. I mean, a lot of people don't like the loot system in this, especially DOA, but I, it's one of my favorite things about it. I think oh, the yeah. longer and see, harder it is to get loot, the more satisfying it is when you get that legendary. See, that's exotic. that's that's my point too. I know a lot of like you said, a lot of people don't like it, but to me, it's like games like Borderlands and Two Worlds and, and Diablo, you know, where it yeah, drops a I lot. I never played Diablo, but yeah, Diablo or uh, you know Skyrim, all the good weapons just become common weapons because they're so easy to get. You know, jump on Skyrim, pull up a a guide on the internet and you have a fucking unstoppable armor set and an unstoppable sword that like never breaks and kills dragons in two hits. Like to me that, I mean, that's, it's not even a cool thing at, you know, five minutes and you're like, Oh sweet. And then, then you just play through the game. It's just your normal thing. It's nothing special on this game. You get an exotic weapon, which I don't know. You guys might hate me for this, but I kind of don't even like it that you can buy exotic weapons just straight up for coins. Because that just makes it too easy. I, I think it's a little cheap, too. By next points. weekend, everyone's going to have an exotic weapon. It's like, well, now it's hardly even special. Everyone has one. But they kind of they, but they kind of do that already, the fact that you can buy legendary weapons regardless. Because in a, well, yeah, in a but month that's... or so, no, people yeah. are going to have a full set of legendary armor. And, a, and, and, and the legendaries won't be that special anyways, because people can just buy them. But I was talking about exotic. I mean, I thought exotic would be even harder to get. In legendary. Well, this this bounty I got for exotics sure seems fucking hard as fuck. Well, yeah, but all you gotta do is get you know thirteen. Five hundred kills with the shotgun. Yeah. Thirteen <laughs> coins or twenty three motes of light, and you're guaranteed a exotic. Item. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, that's but, where okay. the raids are gonna come in though. I think the raids are gonna have much higher quality gear. It better. The damn well better. It, it should. I mean, if it follows any kind of <laughs> MMO seven formula. Seven strange coins. Fuck you. But they'll they'll have like set pieces and things <laughs> that give bonuses. I know we mentioned uh, it earlier, but the worst thing I hate about the loose system is... So I was playing earlier, and for playing the multiplayer, we should mention, like, you at the end, there's, like, two reward spots, and it'll just randomly award, like, loot to, to people, right? So I got three legendary engram drops or as rewards for playing uh, Salvage. You know, and then you gotta go to... Similar to Diablo, but you don't have to go... Like, when Diablo, when a legendary drops, you have to, like, hold X to decrypt it and it decrypts it. And this, you could... I think you can straight up get a legendary weapon, but most of the time it's just, like, an engram you gotta take to this dude to decrypt, right? So I take one over there to decrypt. And yeah, I got, a, I got a legendary scout rifle, sweet, but I don't really use it for mu multiplayer, so it's strictly single-player thing. But then I, I decrypt this other one, and it's a blue. Like, what the fuck? 
and I equip the other one, and it's not even for my class. It's a legendary item for some, another class. I know we talked about that, but that's fucking bullshit. Like, it, if it's oh, legendary, yeah, I, if it's I purple, it should either be that color, or it should be higher, but it shouldn't be lower. Yeah. Because, like, getting it's, legendary it's... drops is hard enough already, and there's a chance that it could be lower. Like, it's, it's such bullshit. Well, and I don't know, I mean, is it just me, or is it a fairly good chance that it'll be lower? It doesn't even seem like it's a good yeah. chance that it'll yeah. be... Yeah. That it'll well, this be is what I don't color. like. I mean, you beat a strike or you beat a crew puzzle mission, and it's like, here's the slot machine to see if you get anything. Oh, cool, I got an Ingram. Now let's pull the second slot machine. Oh, I got bullshit. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. terrible. <laughs> no, I definitely agree with that specific point, because that's bullshit. That shouldn't happen. If you get a purple or a gold, you know, God's sake, let us get a gold and end up having a blue out of the gold engram. That's going to blow. You know, yeah, but... or sometimes you don't even get a weapon, or you get it for the wrong class. Let's also not forget that. You, you, get, well, yeah. you get something that's not even for you. It's like, well, this will be great sometime next week when I'm actually <laughs> using this guy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh... Nothing. And then even still, you don't have to like rank your dude up to level 20 to be able to use it anyway, so it's like, awesome. I can't even use this thing. Also, uh, Bungie put out their upcoming events. We got Salvage and the the weekend seller guy, what's his name? Agent of the Nine, who sells mm -hmm. the exotic weapons this weekend. Then we got Vault of Glass Raid opening up on the 16th. You guys ready for that? I mean, I'm excited that's, about trying that. Yeah, that, that's I'm thing, super like, excited for that. I, I, I wanted to really try it too, but it's like, oh, well, you have to be certain levels. And I guess maybe we should explain how you level up past 20 because it's capped at 20. Mm -hmm. Right? So... You reach level 20 and it's the level cap, right? You still start, you still earn XP towards your subclass and stuff because you won't be done leveling up everything in your subclass. But the only way to like level up past 20 is by finding armor pieces that have this new attribute called light. And you start equipping on that and you start going past 20. Like right now, I'm 23, almost 24. I think Sam, you're 24. Magic, you're 20. You guys are both almost 25, right? Yeah. Yeah. The way you're 25. Like, what are you, like, 23 DLA or 24? I'm not. I'm 24. I'm almost 25. The problem with that is with the loose system is you could play all day and not get any fucking drops towards, like, increasing your level. You know? Like, because they're, they're rare. I mean, they're blue. They're blues. So, like, you could be sitting there like, oh, well, I'm still ranked 20 even though I've been playing all day because I haven't gotten any, you know, loot or good loot. But even though you could just buy, I mean, you know, you could work your way up and buy a buy a legendary item from either the Crucible or the Vanguard vendors, which I don't think will be that hard because we all like I have enough to buy a weapon each, or an, uh, not a weapon, but a an armor piece each. I have enough Vanguard marks that I can get a Vanguard legendary item, and I have enough um, Crucible marks where I can get a Crucible item legendary item i just yeah, need you to just need the, two the rep right yeah i just need to hit rank two yeah. once that then i can have two legendary weapons i can just straight up equip them i mean buy them and those start at light plus 18 which is it's just pretty high you know if people haven't seen the light yet 18 on a base item is pretty high <laughs> and you can upgrade them to get even more um. Loot, uh, loot system's killing it for DOA. What'd you say? Like, if you don't have... If they don't give you a legendary <laughs> drop by whatever day, you're like, I'm fucking done with this game. Which, by the way, I just got a legendary drop. Oh, see? And there we go. I told you to get it today. Well, it was an and Ingram, but I, I, I did get a legendary chess piece <laughs> from the Ingram. It actually didn't give me blue bullshit. And see, now it's all good. Now you got your legendary. To a seven. And yep. didn't your, your <laughs> eyes light up with joy when you got it? It's Not really. Seven. It was just kind of... It's a Too satisfaction late. when you get a piece that's, you know, or, so rare or to get. Or you like, oh man, I wanted a legendary weapon, not a legendary chess piece. <laughs> now DOA's just like, about fucking time, game, shit. I know, exactly. <laughs> I've had to play at level 20 for a whole two days before I got a legendary. <laughs> oh, the humanity. But uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I love the loot system. I love that satisfaction you get when you get a, a super rare piece and it drives me to play the game more 
Yeah, well, I really like how the legend, legendary, well, I guess more the exotic, but the exotic weapons seem they have really cool skins on them, and they have some pretty awesome abilities, like becoming invisible when you're aiming down the sight with a sniper, or ammo that goes right back in your clip. Shit like that is really strong compared to the just average guns, even the legendary guns. Where'd you get that legendary from, DOA? Were you doing that farming spot, or are you just doing something else? I, I was doing patrols on Mars, and some guy, and it just dropped from... Just some random. random scrub just had his legendary yep. he was holding on to, and I relieved it from his dead body. You know, I don't remember what their name was, but those, like, big, fat, like, robot guys. I don't what, remember the yeah. name. No, not the Vex. It's the, the Cabal. The Vex are the, uh... That's yeah, it, yeah, Cabal. the Cabal guy. Oh, the Cabal. Well, so what are you guys thinking about the achievements so far? Uh, it's, it's a long <laughs> I mean, it's a list. list. I mean, it's a boring list, but yeah, it's a grindy list, but it's it definitely covers your bases on experience in the whole game. I think. Well, and the which one I think we'll, an achievement list should do. The one that we'll be trying next week, completing a raid without anyone in your fire team dying. Did you see in the uh, day one patch notes that they were thinking of taking that out? They should have. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They were Although, thinking of taking what out? The, the, the one for complete a raid without mm -hmm. dying, without anyone dying. They're thinking they of taking really that out. Should have taken well, out. Should have. <laughs> like taken out the <laughs> le Like you, sh you should be an achievement for leveling up one subclass, not all of them. Because well, yeah. I want to like, I want to just focus on the one class I picked. I want to like ge gear up both and like gear up my dude. I don't want to be like, well, I'm done with Titan. Now I'm gonna go do a hunter. I mean, I guess well, maybe I think that's kind of like the why more. they give you the drops where it's like, well, this yeah. is I think the idea is after you've been playing this for a month, you'll have all three at 20, and then it doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, it won't yeah, matter. Any like, oh, this is for my hunter, let me switch to my hunter to... real quick. Yeah, and I was playing exactly. Titan, it's like, now nah, I'll put it on that. It's like, I don't know. I mean, I kind of thought about it. Maybe that's not as bad as I thought, because once you have. It just sucks right now because I only have one character, but like later if you've got all three, then it's well, like, yeah, oh, but sweet. I mean, yeah, like say you get a couple of drops, you know, for Hunter right now, or you get, you know, I mean, save your, save a few of your rare items, you know, throw a couple of them in your stash, and you'll have a fucking whole arsenal right when you get to, you know, 18 with any other class, because those weapons aren't, you know, class specific. Yeah, but You're the right. problem is, you, like, you need the crafting materials that dismantling the weapons armor gives you to upgrade the. Yeah, other but stuff. dude, I have so much of that material; it's not it's just sitting there. I have so much, because I don't even have a legendary item for it to anything to go to. Like, I have a ton of it just sitting there. I mean, I guess you could go farm that one spot and just like have a shitload, but. Well, uh, speaking of the achievements, uh. We've been doing the Destiny completion competition, and got it. We got a good amount of people that joined up. I'm, I'm, I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? We're, we're planning on closing it on Tuesday, but now we're kind of unsure when we're gonna actually close it off for more people to join. Since uh, you, you're not gonna no be able to complete the game. Yeah, and, no one's getting a thousand of this anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, at the earliest you could get it is next Tuesday, like, if you do that raid achievement on Tuesday. So, I mean, at least through the weekend, no one's completing the game. Well, yeah, that's why I said, I said just keep it open until until the thousand's actually possible. Cause yeah, well, maybe we'll until... probably close it Monday, maybe. Do we know who's know. got the most gamer score so far in it? Well, yeah, so uh, this guy Swagger's put up a list of his own of updated everyone's score. This is today, um, Friday, at 9 a.m. And Fear Epidemic is number one with 510 gamer score. This is, nine, you know, 9 a.m. this morning, so I think a lot of us have gotten a couple achievements today, so we're higher. I was but... like, I'm at 550. <laughs> so... Yeah, but it's at it 9 in the Give me that $50 now. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, DOA, I'll take it you for were making second. me play this shitty game. You were second at 50. Uh, Sam, you were listed. He listed. I assume. Oh yeah, five hundred. Yeah, Sam, he listed your name as De Las Dre. <laughs> <laughs> How is this such a hard name to get right? I uh. know, copy and paste. But uh, <laughs> you were number three at four ninety. Gambit was number four at well, tied with you at four ninety, and I was right below him at four eighty. Rand, you're a couple spots down. Yeah. Well. 
Jeez, there's like two headshot achievements I could get. and. Well, yeah, there's a couple of easy ones I could get, too. I'm not really worried about it, though. Plus, this game has a tendency to glitch achievements, but then it has a nice little way to get them back. So, Just so. in case one of us does actually end up winning, the prize will just go to the second second place person or whoever below us, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Because it could happen where it's like, I'm first, DOA second, Ren's third. But, uh, so, whoever's well, after... One of I will say for those that are probably maybe lower on gamer score that are behind, I wouldn't worry about it. I think it, at some point the people ahead are going to get stalled at that rate achievement, and it's just going to give everyone plenty of time to catch up. Well, especially uh, the exotic stuff. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So what about the, what about the one for for having a leg, well the one for upgrading legendary and exotic? I mean, that's a lot of stuff you got to do. Well, yeah, yeah, and then having a full set of legendary and or exotic. I mean. You're not going to complete this game in the next few days. You know, even Leveling after Leveling up Tuesday. all three subclasses. Mm. Yeah. Well, beating the take... raid without a whole group not dying is probably <laughs> yeah. going to be the yeah, bane I mean, of everybody's I... existence anyway, even if you are super lucky with all the drops. So, yeah, if if, if one of us ends, does end up winning, you know, we'll take credit for winning, but the other person will get the money. Someone else will get the money, <laughs> not us. You should mention, Rand, you brought it up. You should tell everybody the trick just in case somebody out there doesn't know. Doesn't oh, so, it. like, apparently if you think you got an achievement or if you know you did, but it just didn't give it to you. You know, because the Xbox One is kind of like that, you know? <laughs> um, I, I, I guess this is a problem with Destiny because it checks for achievements because it's cross-gen. So, like, you just go to switch your profile and then pick your profile again. And when you pick your character... The achievements that you should have unlocked will unlock. So, and I don't know, yeah, which has happened to all of us, I think. Yep. Can We've you all uh, done that? I wonder, is it if you got a thousand in this game, and you want to, could you like load up the 360 version and pop all the achievements, or vice versa, get a thousand in the 360, and load up the one version and pop the thousand? Certainly sounds. I don't like know, it. but. Uh... Hopefully no one does that for who's in the competition. Like, sitting there playing 360 all day, and then they just jump on the one and pop all the achievements. Well, they still have to done, complete it, though. I mean, does that really make a difference? Hey, if there's some glitch on 360 that you can't do on Xbox One, that is. Well, they're already talking about some mods that have been found out on 360. For the, I was talking about it earlier, the infinite ammo hack and all that. That I was saying that... That's the whole reason we did it on Xbox One only, because it's a lot harder to glitch and, you know... Well, it, you'll it, be able to tell, because their achievements for the 360 will be, obviously, before their achievements for the One, so... Well, yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, don't do that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty please. Well, what I think about Destiny, I want to say, did you see um, Activision said it was... The most successful new video game franchise launch of all time. Well, that goes back to what I was saying about the whole half a billion yeah, day one, sold. supposedly. Well, yeah, sold to retail half a billion. Uh, it's based on that. Which I oh, think that's, that's just a sign of the, the advertising. Of game. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah the yeah. advertising was huge. So then all the retailers were like, shit, this game should be huge. Give us a fuckload of copies. I just remember my. I love the beta, and I was just like, oh man, there's so much potential for this game. Like, I just, all my concerns, though, ended up coming true. Like, there's not a lot of content. Like, this is the game that is just, it looks so beautiful, but it's just hollow. Because, like, it has these beautiful worlds, but nothing to do in them. Like, you go around, and you deploy the, your ghost, and you just have him scan stuff. Then... They should have had, like, fucking Sparrow Racing. That seems like someone should have thought of that. Although Bungie has not lost their touch for beautiful skyboxes, I will give this game that. Well, yeah, the game looks gorgeous. But, like, <laughs> oh yeah. And no one's yep. arguing that. <laughs> it's just, it's just fucking hollow. There's nothing here. It's just. And half those, I mean, you know the DLC areas because, like, remember yesterday when we, we were exploring Earth and it's like, did we even come here on the story? Yeah. Like, nope. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be coming there on the story in the DLC though. You know, I've got to give Bungie credit. This has been a very smooth launch. I did not expect that. Oh, definitely. Like, the, I was we're expecting on here a at, lot of problems, and it was, it was smooth sailing from the start. <laughs> yeah, 2 a.m. Yeah. on on Tuesday, and no problems. 
You know, I got disconnected got... once, and but it wasn't like some you know global thing. But I mean, you have established franchises, Call of Duty, Battlefield, that you know they always have major server problems, even though they know the game's gonna be huge. And Destiny just it's it all went well. <laughs> I was really shocked by that. Yeah, probably the smoothest online only launch of a of a console yeah. or a system or a uh, game, especially like a AAA title. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely get props for that. So what are your guys' impressions of the PvP so far? Game types and combat and everything? Um, well, for maps, uh, hashtag no vehicles. <laughs> I the big maps can't stand the vehicle I'm maps either. Yeah, I don't know. Which is a shame yeah. because the, the big mo- maps and the vehicles are awesome in Halo. Oh, no, I didn't like big maps in Halo either. I only played like Lockout and Midship and small ones like that. I don't like big ass maps. I, don't, I just don't like game. I I don't really care to use either of the vehicles and I don't like care for them to get used on me. And yeah. then on those huge ass maps you spawn in the very perimeter. So then you have to run in or use your sparrow to get into the action. I don't know. I just like the close quarters maps better. I agree. I I've just never been a fan of vehicle maps and especially the sparrow. I, I don't know. It's it's not that it it's it's responsive, but it just doesn't feel good to drive. I mean, especially in a combat situation. Because you have situation. no offense to it. It's just yeah. If it had some eh. guns on it, it'd be cool. Without yeah, I, guns, like a ghost. Like, I mean, I want to hop on my little speeder bike and zip around the forest. The whole time <laughs> I wanted, I'm just thinking, man, I wish this was a Halo ghost. Like, I love that vehicle. <laughs> I will say on the small maps, though, the fucking doors. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to put doors. <laughs> you know, yeah, but you don't ever pay attention like, to you. You know what, do you That was my idea to put doors in there. <laughs> like, see your contribution. What have you done? Yeah, but see, don't game. forget, don't forget, <laughs> DOA doesn't look at his radar in video games. So, the guy was probably what? lit up like. Well, a yeah, but Christmas how many tree. times do people crouch with a shotgun behind the door? Oh, yeah, true. Hey, if they're crouching, <laughs> I was going to yeah. say. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of times where you died where if you'd have looked at your radar, you would have saw there was a guy on the other side of the door. I will well, say, okay, the radar, radar system but... gets confusing sometimes. Like, I, I, I know exactly how it's supposed to work, but I, I, it goes crazy sometimes where I just see red flashing all over the place and it turns out there's just one guy under me. <laughs> well, yeah, when they're, like, right on top of you, it's, like, impossible to tell where they are. So the uh, thing with the radar, that's only it only goes off like when you're running, or, or is it even when you're moving? Like no, I'm yeah, not really it's, sure. I think it's. Well, yeah, I'm not sure if it's sprinting only. Because if you're crouched know. and you're crouch walking, I wonder if you show up on radar. No, you don't. If you're crouched, you don't. So if you're just regularly walking, do you show up on radar? Just pulling I'm, forward on the left stick. I'm not sure. I th- I would I think yes, but I'm not sure. Unless people are just constantly sprinting. Everyone does nothing with sprinting, which I, I probably do. Well, I have this cool rocket. ability with the Titan where, like, I start sprinting and I get enough momentum and I do a, just, like, it's a one-hit, like, kill, like, melee melee charge. Like, doesn't matter. Like, fucking just click on it and you'll, you dash forward and you use your shoulder and it, oh, just, yeah, yeah, I have it just instantly kills people. So I'm always fucking sprinting as a Titan because I'll just turn a corner, dude's right there, and I'll just fucking... Instantly kill him. Well, the next upgrade for that one is the one where you you sprint and you get a shield. Yeah, but I'd rather take the insta kill over the well, shield. Well, I would say what what classes? Let's let everyone know what classes everyone's using. Well, I'm using the Titan uh, Titan Defender subclass. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. Make this quick. All of you are Titans, and I'm not. Titan Striker I'm a, reporting for duty. Hey, sir. yeah, but I'm a Defender subclass. I'm not a Striker. DOA and Rand are both Titan Strikers. Sam's a Titan Defender, and I'm a Warlock. And I have both. I'm working on Sunsinger now. I already maxed out the other one. So what's your what's the favorite thing about your class that you love the most? Uh, magic. Uh. <laughs> Since he's compared uh, to the Bob. other ones, so uh, indefinitely. When I do my dance. Uh, I, do my dance. <laughs> I mean, what, what's what's unique about your class? Like, what what makes you love playing it? I, I, nothing in particular. 
I mean, I mean, you just play any I mean, class I picked, and be just as happy. I picked, I picked Warlock because fucking Magic Warlock. I had to pick it. <laughs> he likes being that space wizard, I yo. Had, I had no choice. But no, I mean the Void Bomb is pretty tight. Yeah, I Titan think some smash, of these, sun, I think some of these Sun Singer abilities are gonna help us a lot during the raids. And that's that's why I did the Defender subclass was I had, I yeah, had raiding no, in mind. Yeah, that's huge. And we get that huge bubble, which, I don't know, man. They need some tweaks on that bubble, because not being able to <laughs> shoot out of it is pretty bad. And then, worst of all, someone can just walk right in. I, I, they need I don't to tweak it that, to at least let us shoot out of it. I don't think that's works in the multiplayer, man. I don't think you can do that in the Oh, yeah, no, because I'll, I'll set up, and I'll wait at a point, and I'll wait for them to run into the bubble, and I'll shotgun them when they come in. Yeah, but have they ever killed you while you were in the bubble without their power? Well, no, no, there's a... An extra ability you can do where you take far... It says you greatly reduce his damage taken inside the bubble. So it, you're uh, not invincible, but you take a lot less damage. That's what it was, DOA. Uh, but I have that... I don't have that checked off right now. I'm using something else, so maybe that's why we were dying. Yeah, check that shit so the fucking <laughs> enemies don't just walk in there and shit on us. I forgot it was off. I just actually just remembered about it. God. <laughs> Slacker. Getting us killed. Well, so so uh, before we move on, so what's your guys? What would you give it a rating out of ten as of right now? Well, you want a weird honest uh, reviews. Like, I really liked it the first day, like, but like the more I pl the more I played of the story, the less I liked the game. But I still really enjoy the multiplayer, so I'd probably land on a seven point five right now. Maybe maybe getting closer to seven. We'll see, but yeah, right around there. DOA. I'll just I'll tell you what though, it this will not make my top ten for the year, that's for sure. You think you're, there's gonna be ten more games that you like better? Yes. yes. Like for instance, South Park is better. <laughs> <laughs> Did that come South out Park this year? was Yeah, yeah. It came out in March. Smart Smart Park was the funniest game I've ever played. The single player I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of you can't really compare South Park and but. Destiny, but and a no, list I, of 10 I, games that are better. Like, I'd put South Park above this game. Oh, I was thinking uh, Xbox One only. I forgot about early, like, earlier in the year, 360 shit. You think there's going to be 10 Xbox One games that you liked better? Outlast is one, at least. For sure. <laughs> um, uh, Sniper Elite is better, bitches. Oh, no, hell no. <laughs> Hell nah. Who paid you to say that? Yeah, are you on Rebellion's fucking pay list or something? No, but if they want to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll happily take their money. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to pay me, I'll go take up, their up. money, sir. So, okay, DOA, what's your, what would you give it? Uh, six. Six point five. Ooh, it went, it went down. Ugh, yeah, well, I didn't realize how broken the loot system was his first. Hey, you got a legendary now. though. It's all good. I don't care. It's still stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, Sam, stop giving me slot machines I... within slot machines to base my loot and. Yeah, I don't know. I came into this hoping for a nine, and within a couple of days it was about a seven, but I, I'd probably settle right now for an eight point five. I think it's it's grown on me more and more as I play it. I love the loot system. The only thing really left to see is raids. How the raids are done, and my we'll rating see, yeah. might go up from that. I'm I'm giving it an, um, an eight. I was also thinking I would, I, I was hoping for a nine point five. So I mean, I, I'm also disappointed. I I'm going with an eight. I wanted a nine point five, but I think it'll it might be an eight point five after the raids because I th I think the raids are gonna be really good. So, so it's like a so it's like a seven point five eight for an average for a seven somewhere around there seven point five. Well, maybe they can patch a few things and the raids will be good and I'll go up to an eight. But as it stands, <laughs> I mean, I think my biggest gripe is the loading. I, I just I get they want to do the space effects to go from place to place, but I mean, come on, man! I just want to go to the tower and decipher my shit. Like, well, but it could I take think the... five minutes to go there. But I think the thing is, either you see that, or you would just see like a black, you know, loading screen. It'd be the same thing. Well, either that, or just let me decipher. I don't know why they didn't set it up to where like, 
some of the stuff was on your ship. So you could just do, like, enter ship and then go decipher some things. Uh, you know, I, I just think it was... They wanted to make it too fancy and too spread out, and it's just, it gets kind of annoying. I, it takes way too long going between places. Well, so, uh, moving, up, moving on from Destiny, we got a GTA V release date was announced. Yeah, Xbox yeah, yeah, One, yeah. PS4, and PC. <laughs> Guess what I won't be playing day one. <laughs> uh, what, Assassin's Creed? Well, that too. Uh, what, Sunset? Fuck no. <laughs> Dude, yeah, all, Rams all, all like, so you ready life. for GTA? Like, not this year. Not coming out the same day as Far Cry. Plus, I doubt I'll be done with Halo anyway. Fucking one week after. Well, yeah, so what is it? One week after Halo and Assassin's Creed and one week before Far Cry? And No, it's the week of Far Cry. One week, week after. Far Cry, uh, it's it's, it's the week Age after well. Halo and Assassin's Creed in the same week as Far Cry and Dragon Age. Yeah, on Dragon the 18th. Age, so it's like I doubt I'll even be done be with Halo. On the 18th, GTA. <laughs> See, they didn't even say anything about the heist though, which is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of with Barney. That is, that's like borderline fucking false advertising. That shit was supposed to be in there at launch. It's a year later and they still don't have it. And now they're doing a port, and it's still not there? I mean, come on. What the, the hell are they doing? There hasn't even really been any real DLC. I mean, like, or at least not like the DLC that 4 had. Well, yeah. I mean, not, even like, a, not even announced, either. It'd be one thing if it was like, oh, here are some screenshots, and this is coming. It's like, they haven't even said anything about it. Like, okay. Well, yeah, it's just like little bullshit, like skins and a new, you know, a new summer job and oh, a 4th of July pack. And I'm like, who gives a shit about that? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I got time for this shit. Well, the new things they said they added were new weapons, vehicles, activities, additional wildlife, which you saw in the trailer, uh, denser traffic, new foliage system, and enhanced damage and weather effects, and much more. And did you see, Ren? You can actually import your uh, online character from 360. Yeah. All you got to do is have oh. your social club account connected to your live account, which I think most of, pretty much everyone who played either Rockstar, or not Rockstar, Hopefully, uh, Hopefully the achievements are the same, so I can just pop all them fucking online achievements, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, say, I, I don't mind doing... Just concentrate kinda, on the single player the again, single player. awesome. Yeah, I don't mind doing the single player again. I definitely don't want to do that multiplayer again. Because that multiplayer is garbajo. <laughs> I just don't Fucking... want to do the achievements. I don't mind the multiplayer. Is that a game that lived up to the hype? Since I didn't play it. Yes. The single player, yes. You, I say, I you can't tell did. me GTA 5 wasn't hyped to the moon. It no, was, and looked, it's one of the few games that it. met the hype. Yeah. Nah, yeah. See, I disagree. I, I didn't enjoy it. I got bored with it. Well, I'm just I saying that it. earlier he was like, you know, oh, these games never match the hype though, when they're hyped that high. I was like, oh, I don't know. Most people seem to think GTA did. <laughs> yeah, I was say, Sam, you're one of the few people I've heard that didn't really like it. Well, I think Barney Yeah, but Sam's really also like somebody who didn't like Inception, so we can't go by what he said. <laughs> like, Over ever. Hyped, overrated. It wasn't that special. I say, I got a question in the judgment of anybody who <laughs> says Inception was like a uh, blah whatever movie. Like, mm. Mm. <laughs> well, well, let's let's give him the test. <laughs> Sam, what do you think of Tremors? Tremors 9.5. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's better. You redeemed some. Take notes, Pam. Awesome uh, movie. 9.5. I don't know if I know that Still not a 10. Uh, Tremors was awesome, man. Was, I used to watch it a lot as a kid. Yeah, well. But well, no, we got I don't know. Grand Theft Auto, it's, uh, it's the same thing about some people like repetitive things, like certain repetitive things, and for me... Driving around, like doing missions, is not a repetitive thing I like to do. So, <laughs> so I was just dogs, drawn Grand Theft, in Grand Theft Auto. I was just drawn into the story and the characters and stuff. Yeah, I mean the story was good. I mean I'm not I'm not saying I hated the game. I just I got weighed down by the repetitive missions. Like it just ends up always being drive here, shoot people, drive back. 
Well, that's just a staple of open world fucking games like that. Yeah. That's what it, that's what it is. That's what you, the thing is, they have to make it interesting. There's a reason why Grand Theft Auto is like almost a 10 and Watch Dogs is like a 7.5 because in Watch Dogs, they didn't make it interesting enough because yeah, the characters are I mean, shit. And, and I'm not saying the no. game's boring or trash. I mean, that's just personal preference. Like, I'll gladly hack and slash in Dynasty Warriors for 10 hours straight, but I know everyone no, else you would won't. think that was horrible. Oh, That's I true. Have. Why haven't you played Warriors of Rochi 3 <laughs> Ultimate yet? What's up? It's coming Come from Gamefly. I've been waiting for it. It's availability low for quite a while now. You're going to be like, I want this game more than that <laughs> a week one. And a half. <laughs> yeah, so. A week and a half, a while. What's the difference? It's been a long time. Oh so, God, any? Yeah. do you guys think any game is going to move from November 18th with the Grand Theft Auto juggernaut? <sighs> See any game flinching? I don't see Far Cry moving. Probably not because it's a, it is, you know, everybody's uh, played Theft... it. It's it's in question I, how yeah, many people are that, replay but, it. Yeah, you say that, but I mean, I you know, there's a good chance. I know what you, know. you I know what you mean, but I mean, I'm just saying that for a lot of people, it's been there, done that, and there is a lot of new big games. I mean, it's like, I don't know. I think a lot. I think they'll chance it. And I don't know. I like, think there's so I many Monopoly Family up. Fun Pack is gonna go around scared. <laughs> What was that um, Ubisoft game that was like a fitness game the that crew. actually looked kind of cool? No, no, oh, not that. the crew. I'm Shape talking about the up. fitness oh, one. Shape Up, that, yeah. Shape Up. That comes out oh. the same day as Assassin's Creed, the 11th. Oh, it is it? That was like the first time I ever saw a fitness game where I was like, that actually looked kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I said too. Yeah, it didn't look bad. It was actually. A <laughs> and then Microsoft game. killed the Kinect, and Ubisoft was like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I say, no, Far Cry is my most hyped. Really? Of the whole year, yeah. That's what I'm looking for the most. Looking forward to the I most. I mean, I'm hyped for it, but it's not my most hyped. I, I just that's, love Far Cry 3, and this one looks DOA, even Sunset, better. O Sunset Overdrive. It's like I was, I was in love when I saw that CGI trailer. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. I don't right. need to see anything. I else. regret just nothing. Show me, <laughs> just show me a piece of paper with your color palette that you're planning on doing. And I love it. <laughs> I could totally That's see that game being like, palette. like the only thing is like that game's not really hyped at all outside of being an exclusive, but I could totally see that game just being a repetitive bullshit. Like, cause we had that talk before, like, what are you doing Sunset Overdrive? And it's just like, is hey, it just, just like, as long as it knows how to give me loot on a regular basis that I give a shit about. There's well, they already locked, they're already locking. Well, it yeah, depends on your definition of loot. Like, like in Dead Rising, I mean, there was tons and tons of weapons and tons of member you would get. Like the cards, and you'd make the special weapons. Yeah, and shit. okay, but then again, when you got the one you liked, you never cared about all the rest of the bullshit. Like it had all these combo what, cards. Is that not like... true of this too? I mean, you th who get here gives a shit about all this green crap that's dropping on Destiny? <laughs> Nobody. I was yeah, saying, I don't I want, want to hear that. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, but then you could use the green stuff and the dismantle it to get parts. Yeah, I get the fact that stuff. you got to sift through the bullshit to get the good shit. But I'm saying, Dead Rising doesn't make me wait on the good shit. Or I mean, it doesn't make me wait like the way this game waits. Not, I'm not killing hordes of zombies for three days in hope of one decent fucking weapon or piece of armor. Yeah. I want my but anyway. I want them now. Besides, you're about to have your big chance to shit on Microsoft right now, Magic. I mean, uh, Ran. I was say, Magic. What? What are you talking about? Well, I know Ran's about to shit on Microsoft. Two billion for Minecraft. <laughs> 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 Oh, Microsoft, you're so crazy. <laughs> we could be making some new games, but fuck it, let's buy Minecraft and keep it yep, on the PlayStation while we're it. at it. <laughs> but you guys saw that uh, Notch, the guy from Mojang, he, he brought them that idea. Oh, I'm sure he did. How about you give me $2 billion for this franchise? It's obviously at its peak. It can only go down from here. <laughs> that was my first thought, great. was, you know, <laughs> why this late? Like, it's been out for so long, but... It's still because he's not the 360 an idiot. He knows it's peaked. It's still it's well, no, no. Well, like yeah, the 360 hey. PS3 version is still number two in the UK. Like it's still selling like crazy, and I don't understand how, but it is. <laughs> I mean, it's still making lots of money. Well, yeah, it's it's an idea that the guy who owns it, who wants to make money, came up with, and so it's nothing oh, official. Snap. I just got a legendary Engram. What? <laughs> oh snap! I just had to put that out there. 
because you know this <laughs> yeah. terrible loot system, you know. And, and let us know when you waste our time because you got a blue item. Oh, boo! <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, don't. I didn't say I had anything until I'd already made it, and I, no, no, you know see, what I mean? but that. That, that's my point of this the... game of loot, is that when you get a legendary, you get super excited about it, which is why the loot system is really good in this game. Do you mind? We get, were shitting on get, Minecraft here. Come on, you people. Get, Stay you focused. don't get super excited about a fucking spike bat in Dead Rising. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, soda cup. I can Not combine this with bat, a baseball but, bat. I mean, <laughs> the other stuff. I don't know. I was pretty excited as soon as I was able to launch dildos at zombies and then explode. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> That's a da you're a damn lie. <laughs> you a damn lie. <laughs> so two billion for mine Minecraft, huh? Sounds like a good investment. Nope. Nope. I I, I, I don't think I think so. I don't think they'll I, do it. So I mean, you think it's a good investment, Sam? If I mean, if if Microsoft's willing to put up two billion for it, then they know the numbers. Like they're not stupid and just gonna throw blind money at it. Like Microsoft's a profitable company for a reason. They... We're not stupid. People want the connect, clearly. Well, no, that's. Yeah. I mean, that's the Xbox people, division. People people want to pay five hundred dollars for the Xbox One. What are they gonna do? Get a PS4? <laughs> okay, I'll make us billions. Let's buy them. Oh wait. Well, did you see the? There was an article that came out about it. Where this guy was saying he thought it was a sign that they were going to split off the Xbox division. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. I'm not sure how that you make that connection either, but yeah. Huh. I don't understand why you. I mean, I guess Microsoft is probably feeling like, hey, like Minecraft is the new, uh, you know, like Lego. So they they look at it as like a long term thing. Plus, the apparently... only benefit I could see from this is they get is we get Minecraft two exclusive. Like, don't even bother taking nobody's going to give a place. shit. I'm telling you right I, now, I really don't. I mean, well, Minecraft, you say that, but I mean, you never know. I mean, you're. But the, they pump out updates for that so much. <clears throat> I, I mean. Well, I, I mean, it would, they'd have to overhaul up. it. I mean, they'd have to move I mean, it up to 16 bit to really get people excited. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> but part Minecraft of the reason, Tater, here oh we go. My God. <laughs> but part of the reason Minecraft go. is successful is because it's everywhere. It's it's on ta iPads, it's on iPhones, it's on it's on every fucking system on the man. If if they make Minecraft two and it's just Xbox, like it's not gonna take off. Well, it was pretty successful on the 360, wasn't it? Like well, I'm, one well, of the I'm top sure arcade they'd games bring it to sold. Steam and mobile and everything. I, well, yeah, I just, they would just keep it off of PlayStation, which is really all that matters. Well, they should have fucking did it two years ago, and it maybe would have mattered. Well, yeah, that was my first reaction when I heard this, and it was like, it sounds two years too late. Yeah. Two years ago, this would have been badass. And now you gotta love Minecraft, do you, so... <laughs> Fuck I do. Although I will say, and I know Randall agreed to thanks, thanks to Bill <laughs> for my thousand, because I didn't want to play that shit. <laughs> yep. Oh, and I will and say... And I would also like to publicly say Pan's a sellout and got all the achievements from Bill yep. and Will. Yep. <laughs> I was just like, Ooh, I want to yep. throw that shit out there. And while we're on the subject of Pan, fuck you, Pan. She was calling me and, <laughs> she was calling me and Barney out, and she went and did that shit. Me and Barney got our achievements. And we had to restart our game twice, and we still got our shit by ourselves. I think, to be fair, though, she's still playing the game past 1,000. Ooh, yeah, but she was all fired. like, I'm gonna shots do it fired. and shit, and shit, you know, and it's like... Yeah, and she's like, oh, well, but I mean, don't get me wrong, she loves creative mode, so, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, sense yeah, I get why. that, but uh, it's, a, it's just hard for me, it's like, oh, you love a game, let me bang these achievements out as fast as possible and get the fuck off this game, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. Even though she does <laughs> com complete that game, so it's different for that case, because she does still play it, but... But whatever. Me and Barney did. Pan's gonna be pissed when she hears this later. She's like, I we got our end. Y'all called me out like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Pandora OVO. <laughs> <laughs> Send her a message right now. Be like, wait, you didn't get your Minecraft legit? You guys should see me and Barney's uh, game, because for that Ender Portal achievement, you have to get all these eyes, and we had a game where you had a village where you could trade. The villagers for um, the eyes. Or it was like the orbs that make the eyes. One of those. I can't remember which one it was. But one of the ways you could trade with them is for wheat. And the other way was for uh, wool. 
So I had this gigantic fucking wheat farm going, and Barney had this fucking huge ass pen full of like 30 sheep, and he was just like breeding them like rabbits. And so we were just like churning out <laughs> wheat and wool, trading them in for that shit. <laughs> Barney's like, well, we're playing uh, fucking Farmville. Well, yeah, Bill was well. telling, remember, Rand, he was telling us that, um, like, you can actually dye the sheep. Yeah, you can dye the sheep and then shear them. You can actually dye the sheep so it'll be like a blue sheep and a black sheep and an orange oh, sheep. Oh, so you can sheep. keep you can... getting blue. Yeah, like, there? you can actually dye, you could, like, make a little fence or whatever and, like, make a whole little farm of different colored dyed sheep and just keep shearing them for the colors or whatever. Oh, I didn't know that. I know we um we had these mushrooms. It was like cows that had mushrooms growing on their back. Where when you milked them, you got a bowl of soup. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you gotta love that Minecraft logic. This <laughs> equals soup. <laughs> Boy, logic. Logic goes out the window when there's mushrooms growing on the cow's back. All right. Shit. Well, maybe they're just lazy. And they so like mushrooms start growing on them. <laughs> yeah, they like hanging out in shady spots. They're very lazy. Yep. And, uh, so what do you got? You guys <laughs> looking forward to Resident Evil Revelations? What, I am. Sonic crap? I mean, yeah. Oh, it's crap <laughs> now. It was amazing on Walking Dead. And it was <laughs> so... What the fuck? I never so played suspense. Revelations. What the hell? No, on the episodic <laughs> stuff. You were like, oh, it, it was yeah, just but suspenseful that, that's, waiting that's week a, for week. As Barney always said, that's just barely a game. It's just You're just playing through the TV show. I mean, that's not the same thing as Resident Evil to me. Oh, so now it depends on the game. I mean, unless that's what they're doing with it. Like, turns out Revelations is just like a big storybook game. Like, oh, okay, well, now I won't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I take it all back. Oh. <laughs> uh. I gotta make dialogue choices between Chris and Jill and shit. <laughs> Who's gonna fall in love with who? Like, all right, well, never mind. So. I, I don't care about that game. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't play the first one, so I'm I'm way more excited for the new remake they've got coming. Rand, what do you think? I didn't Revelations play Revelations one. either, so... Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, mean, Barney and Rogue talked very highly of it. Like, it was really good. But... I just didn't feel like dealing with the grindy-ass co-op or whatever it had. I think so, as, long the, uh, as, long as, uh, as long as they're getting away from Resident Evil 6, because I thought that was completely terrible. Well, yeah, I mean, that was... I thought that whole franchise has just flame kept flame. going down in hell since 4. When we got the October preview update. Details. Which I have, which I have oh, right yeah, now. I'm, I'm yeah, a I big fan so. of the new Friends tab. Oh, oh you're Pretty willing awesome. to freely admit it now, yeah? <laughs> Last week it was Hush Hush, or two weeks ago, last month. <laughs> Well, how is it then? Uh, now that you guys it's good. It. I mean, the snap mode's nice. It's uh, and you can see, you know, friends and snap and messages and shit, especially in a conversation form. They brought uh, back the 360 guide essentially. Just what what it, what they did. Because now yeah. you can now you hit you double tap the guide button and it brings up this like little radial menu and it's like left to go back to your game. So if you press the wrong. Right to go to your most recent app and up to go to the, to all the apps. So you can pretty much like now, because one of the one of my complaints was like it's easier for me to check my friends on the 360 and even my achievements, like on the 360 and it is on the one. But now it's it's much faster on here. So now we're all gonna have to really get used to the snap feature, huh? Because I barely ever use it. Oh, I, I, I hardly ever use it either. <laughs> I, I, that's the thing, Rand keeps talking like how great it is, but I, I still never use it just because I'm out of the habit of it, basically. I never even try to use it. Yeah. Well, well, it seems like that little thing. leaderboard thing is broken currently, though. I don't know about it for you, Rand, but... It's working for me. It's showing really, Rand Nobody's top. scores ever goes up. Yeah, like Rand's... Oh, my position changed. I think I was at, like, third on my list, and I'm fourth now. Really, but, I mean, mine has, has never changing. changed. It's like, I have... It's like, for the last 30 days, I have... Like 5,700 gamer score, whatever it is, which I have more than that, and it's never moved to like. So, the what week is I've it? Had it the, so, the 
a weekly leaderboard or monthly or what is it? It's just last 30 days. days. Gamer like, score leaderboard. Uh, last 30 days, like from today, basically. So it's always 30 yeah. days ago. So if you scored 1,000 30 days ago, I guess tomorrow your score will be down 1,000 points. Yeah. 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 Um, see, I think they. I haven't tried it out yet, but apparently the new uh, record feature is in this one too for non connect users. I think it's double tap the guide button and hit X and it records the last 30 seconds. Yeah. I haven't Which, tried it yet either. Yeah. Well, let me try it now real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, yep, it did it. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> that that right there seems really good because I like recording a lot of stuff, especially multiplayer, and you have to go back and go to the game DVR thing and click that, and then it snaps, and then it loads, and that takes way too long. Yep. Oh, man. Yep, game clip recorded. So that's that's actually really nice, yeah. And this is the one where you can hide the ready-to-install list, right? Yeah, but I need that one with two Xboxes. That comes in handy for me. So I go back and forth. What do you have? One at work and one at home? Yeah. Yeah. So if I like download a game guy. at home, I have to go to work and download it at work too. Look at this guy here. <laughs> oh, balling! He's balling over Big there. Big balling. Learning from it's just, DOA. It's such a pain dragging the Xboxes back and forth. So you just get two. Listen to this guy. <laughs> Nah, I really. I don't want to hear shit after Smirnoff last week and his like thirty Xbox ones. <laughs> thirty. Or however I mean, he had a fuckload of them, didn't he? Mm. But anyway, just remember, people, horror frame is better. Shut up. Yeah, I don't get all <laughs> that that's going on with the whole Warframe destiny right now. Yeah, I mean, I haven't the played games Warframe are... yet, but there's a lot either, of similarities. There's a lot of similarities to the... <laughs> You'll assume it's better. <laughs> I would assume it's better. There's a but lot the of do... similarities. No, you know it's two, better but... because DOA could buy microtransactions to double up his XP <laughs> so it doesn't take as long. Of course it's better. Well, see, that's why I don't like the comparisons because a lot of the people who are saying Warframe is better, they're spending real money on it, which makes it more enjoyable. Because if you get on there like me and you don't want to spend any money, it kind of sucks because... Half the fucking store in that game to buy shit you can't just earn in the game. You have to pay real money. You know, I mean, think of how this game would be, DOA, if you couldn't even fucking get any legendary shit. I got a legendary shit. Ingram, and I gotta wait 24 hours to open it. Yeah, well, I say, everything you <laughs> make... I gotta wait the whole... 24 hours to decrypt it and build it. Oh, God. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, all these items you have to pay real money for. Anything you get, you have to wait, you know... Any type of little like building you make in your ship, you have to wait 24 hours. Like, I mean, it's all just a huge, huge grind. It's just, it's it's just tempting you constantly to pay real money. Here, come on, pay real money. You know, this sucks, doesn't it? Pay real money. Pay real money. So, sure, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it is. This off. We're gonna piss off half our listeners who love well, my, who love Warframe. It, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, it's all personal. Guys. <laughs> it's all personal opinion. You know, if they like it, that's fine. I mean, I I just think that's that's crazy talk, people. It's crazy talk. <laughs> I'm sure well, see, I'm, the similarities, like one, is probably has an equally dumb fucking story. <laughs> oh, definitely. And like, I mean that, what you're, you're, I mean, you, you're in like the solar system, you do missions well, yeah, on Earth, it's and all Mars, the planets. And all that bullshit. They have Earth, Mars, and Venus, just like this game does. I mean, you even fly a ship in the loading screen, just like you do in this game. Yeah, why can't I fly my ship in loading screen, Bungie? Huh? Hashtag more frames better. <laughs> <laughs> But I just think, like, if you take Destiny at its base value, which is $60, and then you take Warframe at its base value, which is $0, and you don't do anything extra after that, Destiny is better, because Warframe sucks when you don't spend any money. Well, what if you spend $60 on Warframe? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how much $60 would really get you. It more well, be I know that be, big pack's 150 which is kind of bullshit. It'd be <laughs> much, It'd be much more comparable if... If Warframe wasn't a free-to-play game and it was 6 dollars retail and they took out all those free-to-play mechanics. Because then it actually would be a good game, and I agree with that. Because the game's not terrible, it's just the free-to-play mechanics, you know, Ruined put it me you. off from yeah. it. Yeah, if it was just a normal retail, it, it would actually be What if they had, a, like, a $60 option to get rid of all wait times? Like, you still <laughs> had to earn everything, but like you never had to, like, do, like, a... 
like spend 60 bucks and uh, you'll never have to like wait eight hours or 12 hours or 24 hours or whatever. I mean, you still got to earn it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, but, I'd also want complete access to the store then too. Like I don't want to have to fucking, you know, spend any extra money on the store. It should all be available to me from in-game currency. But you can't even change your color without spending real money. You get like six colors to start with, and that's all you get. And there's a shitload more colors, and you can't choose any of them. Yeah, thanks. I just want to make my guy black. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> spend five dollars. No, you, you will not make, make that character, character black. <laughs> Jesus. You will pay us money. Jesus, people, I just want to change the color. <laughs> the color. Any, anything else you guys want to talk about? Was that really all the news there's been? I feel like there was something else that happened. Uh, have you guys talked about know. Xbox One sales in Japan yet? Oh, yeah. What's oh, there man. to talk about? What sales? <laughs> I mean, did you expect anything better than, what, two, what was oh. it, 25,000 or something? I swear we something. fucked up on last week's podcast talking about that, though, where Magic said it came out in China, and then Rand's like, it's all terrible, and then, it's like, uh, it wasn't even out, what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> like, yeah, China's still the I big iffy China. one about how it's going to do. It's Japan, but, I mean, PS4 didn't do well either there. I guess they're such a mobile market now that, I don't well, know what Microsoft was the, expecting. <laughs> as soon as they saw the PlayStation crash and burn, they should have just canceled it. I, feel, I mean, I, I think achievement hunters are more happy about it coming out in Japan than we are just for doubling up their thousands, stacking thousands. Well, they got to give us a good one to double up on because Zumba ain't cutting it. Well, they got Warriors Orochi. <coughs> well, that sucks too. Come on. Well, I mean, the game's alright, but I mean, it sucks for like a, from an achievement point of view, though. That's well, it's not, not an like easy, quick thousand. That's not your go to game to, ooh, I'm going to stack this for a thousand. Sweet. <laughs> you know, like. You know. Um, but I'm sure yeah, it'll start coming. You're going to have some games that are. Gonna be super easy thousands that will come out in Japan too. I'm just well, yeah, I mean, there if... already were rumors that the Metro games were gonna like come out for like another four thousand. <laughs> Although I don't think I don't think I'd want to do that honestly, but more power to anybody who does. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, eight playthroughs of Metro is more than enough. I'm speaking of, I still have one more playthrough to do. So I'm not even done with that. I uh, still got three more playthroughs to do. I'm not even close. Let's see. I've been lost in old Russia. I don't know what news is going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that game takes place in Russia, too, so you should know what's going on. <laughs> I meant for news. <laughs> oh. I've, I've hardly been <laughs> keeping track of news. Yeah, I haven't exactly been either. Bat Batmobile photo. It's got a stupid swivel cannon on the front, people. I Other than that, it looks pretty cool. badass, though. So. No, it does. That's the only thing I don't like about it, is the, like, Gatlin gun on the front. It looks retarded and doesn't seem very Batman-esque unless it's shooting rubber bullets. Which sounds dumb now that I've said it. <laughs> ben Affleck butt chin. <laughs> Maybe that's why that trailer, he had a chin guard so you wouldn't see his giant chin and his underbite. <laughs> the bat chin. <laughs> How do you think his cough is going to sound when he coughs in that mask? What? Is it going to sound like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, zing. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody just, everybody on the bike listening just went, what the fuck? <laughs> That's okay. Sam and Rand knew it was amazingly funny. Um, <laughs> Alright. Back to shit, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, next week we'll have the raid, so we'll talk, we'll talk about what will be th our thoughts on the Destiny raid next week. Are there even any other I games coming good. out that you guys are going to play? Because I'm going to be on Destiny this 12 months, so... No, that's that's the whole. That's the main reason hey, what, I decided I gave in out? and played it was because I'm just waiting for Forza. Well, I'm sure there'll be some indie I mean, games that they spring on us. There's Horizon 2, There's Crime Sherlock Holmes, which 
If it's a, if it's a short enough thousand, I'll I'll knock that out when it comes out. But well, is Defense Grid Two is supposed to be coming out September twenty third, uh, which the first Defense Grid was really good. I jo enjoyed it. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? We got Sniper Elite DLC to play, people. Come on, <laughs> put the Destiny down. Nine point <laughs> oh. Nine point oh. Seventeen parts. Yeah, DOA apparently gave Sniper Elite Three a nine point oh. I don't think any, none of us hate it. The only reason I'm not excited like to jump the on the most. DLC is because they only gave us part one. So, I'm like, well. Yeah, but come I just on, can't you... believe. Here's the thing. I just can't believe in your mind fucking Sniper is a better game than Destiny. See, that's the thing about, you know, when you say Outlast is a better game or Sniper Elite's a better game. Yeah, in small Outlast doses it might be. But if I said, hey, go play Outlast for 200 hours and tell me you like it more than Destiny. Uh, that's the thing. Like, it, it sure it's well, better to you now. Well, I promise you, if this but... game was ten hours long, <laughs> Sam, I'd like it. <laughs> no, but but you have to play two hundred hours at I least promise to you, get the thousand. Sam, if I had the thousand points in ten minutes, I'd be the greatest game of all time. <laughs> no, 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 but that's that the thing, suck, though. If, if it was ten minutes, you have to but play if this at least was like a twenty-hour thousand and shit, then I'd be like, yeah. Right, but say fine. Outlast was a two hundred hour, or Sniper Elite was a two hundred hour thousand. Would you like it as much as? I mean. At least this is it depends what I'm doing in the 200 hours. Well, in a game You're like Outlast, you'd be the playing face. these the same story over and over and over and over. Yeah, but maybe in a Sniper Elite, you know, oh, you're looking for weapon upgrade drops that are super rare, and you have to just keep doing multiplayer over and over for it. Then oh, you'd be you like, man, I hate zero. Sniper Elite, worst game the ever. Zero. Yep. So yeah, yeah, I mean, it it's easy to say a shorter game is better than Destiny, but play that game for just as long as Destiny and then say the same thing. Well, the thing is, I think it's the combination of it being long, and the reason it's long is because of how luck-based it is. And just, you know, I don't know. It's I like the combination. It, it's grindy, it's luck-based, it's, I don't know. It's I mean, little... I don't know. I've already got an exotic uh, piece of armor, so I don't want to try him out. Grindy. <laughs> well, he does too now. No, he's got a legendary. I've got an exotic. Oh, wait, you have I an exotic? I got my strange coin. I got my strange coin, yeah. <laughs> Look at this so, guy. I bought that exotic. That uh, buying's boring. <laughs> oh, whatever. You would wish you could just microtransaction buy What, did, what did you right get now. anyway? The, 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 the uh, arm one? Gauntlet? The, yeah, yeah. the gauntlet. I, oh, I just enchanted... I'd, uh, Salvage the purple. I got three of those ascendant shards and like eleven of those stainless steel things. So you get some ascendant shards for it at least. Well, that's good. Holy crap! Well, uh, well, uh, yeah, that's that's about it for this week. Uh, the name, right, of, the name of this podcast will be Shit Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dicks Look for it on sales, YouTube people. and on iTunes. <laughs> Just grab on iTunes, shit, dick. <laughs> shit, dick, shit. I should have been thinking about it. That should have been named <laughs> like, the podcast. Comment and subscribe. Welcome shit, to dick. episode eight of Shit Dick. <laughs> <laughs>